Hey, how's it going, everybody? So today, man, we're back playing the Hunter Call of the Wild again. I told you guys we were playing this again. I actually like this game. I did look up a couple of videos on how, like, how to hunt, how to hunt a lot easier, quicker, things of the sorts. So, um, yeah. So I just want to go ahead. Um, can't put your profile there within fifty minutes. Okay, I just want to go ahead and hop right back into it. Um, so I'm not too sure where we left off. I can't remember. Okay, so um. I'm trying to see mission log. This is the one that I need to be taking. Okay. So we're I'm pretty sure where we left off is I have to go out here and uh actually go uh catch two uh fallow deer. Um so what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and get our ATV out, which I did purchase. Um like I said in the last one, I definitely was gonna get that. Um I got that and I also got uh <coughs> The um, I also got the uh, the DLC, the new DLC, the Civil Ridge, I think that's what it's called. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be checking that out as well later on, maybe in another video. But today, man, I want to go ahead and get a little bit farther in this game, go ahead and kill these deer, uh, try out the new things I saw in the videos, um, and just see how everything works out. So, yeah, all right, so we finally made it. <coughs> so, off real. I know uh, the first thing I remember from the guy was um, he said you have to worry about the smell of yourself. So that's that's the main thing in this is if the deer can smell you. If they can't smell you, if none of the animals can really smell you, then you're basically good. But that little green arrow down at the bottom. Um, it's usually not the green arrow, but the green light usually shows where the wind's blowing. So we've actually spotted one animal out there. It's a roe deer. Um, not what I'm looking for, so I'm I'm actually not gonna go after it. I'm gonna still I'm gonna keep following this uh, fallow deer's trail. Um, as you can see, it's kind of leading. I don't want it to lead me out because then it doesn't really count what the goal I'm trying to get to. So hopefully he's not. He doesn't continue going that way. From the looks of it, it's kind of bad because I am going straight through the wind, so he pre I'm pretty sure he knows. So I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I'm actually about to go ahead and take this guy down right here. So I'm pretty sure that was a good hit. So, uh, it's the first one of the day, looking good, that's what I like to see. Go ahead and start this day off right. Go ahead and let it reel off gate. All right, we're approaching the uh, the road deer. Uh, let's check her out real quick. Uh, you can barely see her. Good God. Let's go ahead and step in some of this stuff right here. Um, let's see. Where did I hit her at? Got into the flesh. I pr basically hit her in her neck. Um, which you know wasn't too much of a damage. Um, I'm not getting much from this, but this that doesn't matter. Because all this was was uh, just a little test to see if my aim was right. So now that I know I can hit them things, it's definitely time to go in and catch us some fallow deer. For sure. So I've actually got a mating call back. There, there, there they are right there. And I'm not too sure see the bad thing about it is so I'm not too sure if he sees me or not it's not, that's not the one I want I want that one right there So I definitely hit him hard. I hit him hard right there. Uh, that should take him down. It looked like I hit him right in his lung. There's no way. I'm pretty sure that was a pretty good hit. Okay, I definitely hit him that time. And I'm not too sure how he hasn't gone down yet. I'm 
not too sure how he isn't going now. And that one's just taking his time, so I'm actually going to go for this one as well. I mean, that's two of them I hit already, so... I'm kind of confused how... They both haven't gone down yet. There's that one right there. Got him, got him. Well. You got one? Great. Don't forget to harvest this? it. Then on to another. Got him straight. Straight flesh. That's what it was. He even hit him good. It's crazy. Oh, no wonder why. I, I don't know what these were. So these are... I don't, I'm not too sure what those are for. Okay, we'll just accept it, huh? Because I got a good bit of cash from that. Alright, so that's one of two deer that we've... Uh, of the deer we've gotten. Blow rate very low. Hold on. What is this? Oh my, yo, I did kill another one. Oh man, it must have been from the two I shot back then. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. There you go, another one. I'll let Zomer know. Oh, this man. should calm his nerves. Well, it seems someone is making new that friends. Sucks. I, I just had a chat with all about head. Zomal, and he was very pleased with how you took care of the fallow deer in his cornfields. You know, Zomel is a real enthusiast of special equipment hunting. Bow hunting is one of his passions. As a thank you for your work, he wants to invite you to partake in his favorite pastime. He's challenging you to hunt a red fox using a bow. I think it's some kind of rite of passage. Alright, uh, like I said, I'm in the video here, man. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I definitely, uh, this game is maybe one of my favorite games at the moment. It's it, I don't know what it is about the game, man. I just like playing it. I feel like I'm actually out there hunting and everything. And I've, always, I've always wanted to go hunting a lot. It's just I uh, don't have the patience to go out there and sit around, which you need to have to play this game because it's actually kind of like real life. But, um, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and let me know what you think of the, the game. Um, I want to see, you know, your guys' feedback, see what you guys got to say about the video uh, and the game. I want to know what you guys uh, think about the game. I, I like I said, I find it to be very fun, um, very cha challenging, but at the same time, it's a pretty fun game. But yeah, uh, I appreciate you guys watching the video, and um, hopefully you'll stop by next time to watch another one. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.